I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sound, too, disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. What could have been seconds or centuries later, I felt the gentle vibration of the elevator come to an end. I slowly opened my eyes. This is the final trial site? What do you think? Isn't it just the perfect background for deciding a person's fate? It's the long-awaited last stage, the always exciting final boss battle. And I'm gonna sit on, on this one. I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat. Well then, let's begin! Okay. So, I want to keep going, because this is it. Uh, it will take about two hours, though. Just okay. a warning. So. That's fine. Okay. Are you I'm ready, assuming... Gabe? Who do you think it is? Uh, Who do you think dead... is the mastermind? One of the dead people. Um, the thing we know about the dead people is this. Mm-hmm. Um... We have seen, we have personally inspected many corpses that we can say are officially dead. They mm -hmm. are dead, dead is without a doubt. Mm -hmm. The only other people it could have been were people who were ex executed in some way. People like Mondo, like Leon, but let's be fair, it's not Mondo or Leon. Um, there are a good few of them who, it's not any of them. Okay, well the I'm going to only... warn you right now, everybody that hmm. has died has actually died. Yeah, I yes. Yep. You're right. Everyone who has died has died. You're right. There is okay. but I'm looking at this entire situation, counting up the dead bodies and doing everything else and I'm like there is only one situation where the rules would not have been broken and an exception was made. It was Monokuma killing what's her dick? The 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 one you gave the accent to. The the, the southern girl, not southern but uh, valley girl accent. Whatever Junko. her bitch. Junko. I think it's Junko. We'll see how that actually plays out through this, but... Well, why it, do you think it's Junko, though? A, an exception to the rule would be the only way that... If Monokuma has announced someone's dead, they're dead. Unless that he broke yeah. the rules, which I'm assuming up until the last trial he hadn't broken the rules. There was never a body announcement. Okay. There well, she... was... When she was killed right in front of everyone, it didn't pop up saying that. Every other time it popped up. Well, that's that because the body the only... discovery announcement is only used for if a person killed somebody yes. else. Yes, I know. But my thing is that if there is a missing dead body, it is hers. Okay, we it's honestly... not. Well. Okay, well, uh, we I mean... should have, we literally just should have opened up all the things to check the corpses, count them up and see which body was missing. But, yes. you know, we're not smart. <sighs> so, let's do this. Trial. Begin. All rise. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. Makoto's not allowed to talk! What? <laughs> he has to <laughs> sign for the rest of the trial. Fuck! I never learned sign language! You learned it last year! What? <laughs> so listen up! If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win! But if you can't, then I win! And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super heart-pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will! And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh! <sighs> Any time Hero huh? talk, Are my desire to die okay? increases. It's, I'm gonna really hate it if he's just going to say, like, is everyone here actually a ghost and this is like purgatory or something? Mastermind? <laughs> Only one okay, that's fair. Person? Don't bother. I already know the answer. No, you don't. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it. You were so close, Gabe. Oh that goes. But does everyone else is the mastermind? I hate 
heroes so much. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Mm -hmm. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. Hina, do you really think that Sakura would have betrayed you? Dumb bitch. Evidence that proves Whoa. everyone other than me has been working together. Wh what? Wait, hold on. This doesn't make All of their sense. arguments are that everyone else is working together. So for oh, Hina, that means admitting that Sakura kind of was working against her. Okay, is that not the right button to begin with? Okay, it must be Y. I must be remembering the button wrong. Yeah, okay. It was the first thing I did. I just pressed A instead of Y. Oops. Oopsie poopsie. It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. With the picture you have, I'm in it. But that can't be right. Because in my picture... See? I'm the only one not in it. Figure as much in which case. You have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. You know one common thing among every single one of these pictures? What? Junko's face is never shown. She's just turned around, Gabe. You remember what Nayagi said? Mm hmm What? At the beginning of the game? No. Junko doesn't look like he expected her to. Yeah, because Photoshop, obviously. Yeah, Photoshop and makeup and blah, 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 blah. But during all these photos, we also never see her face. Okay. So I'm just Turned starting. Away. I'm just feeling like I'm right. Secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a, laid a trap. trap. A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? The proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap, each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person isn't shown in the group photos, and that person is the one who got the photo. <laughs> no, it's Toko. <laughs> it's Toko Fukala. In the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. I really like this picture, to be honest. Because yeah. it just shows, like, them all just kind of working hard and stuff. And then Sakura about to lap them. I feel like Sakura's already lapped them. She's about to lap them again. Is yeah, no, I, what's happening. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Considering she started on the outer edge, probably, and has just been making her way in. She, that means her, also, she's about to them for the second time. Also, what the fuck are you wearing, Chihiro? Why you wearing bloomers, ma'am? Sir? Wouldn't that show the goods? Uh, we're gonna assume he had padding. Okay. That he just put also, a little Celeste, piece of pad down. still not wearing the uniform, just chill it off in the corner. Mm-hmm. Donuts. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well.
Oh, hey, look whose face was covered. Akuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? But you know, there might be some more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's pictures. What is it? What's digging at me? Can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. Sure there's something unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them one more time. Also, where the hell did Sakura get a fish in the pool from? I didn't even consider that. Also, I like that Toko and Celeste are both the ones off to the side this time, not engaging in whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Also, why the hell... What? What? Mukuro doesn't have straps on her shoulders. What the hell is she wearing? Um, a bikini or something? But they're all wearing the same school swimsuit. All the girls. Mukuro, are you naked? Are you judging her? Yeah, this it's is more. It's more school. aerodynamic. It's this more is aerodynamic. A school. She's Even a soldier. The ultimate swimmer is wearing a swimsuit. Yes, but she is a soldier. That and doesn't mean she can go naked. Nudity. <laughs> Hina's picture. Hero's picture. And mine. There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Something... Group photos matter the truth bullet section in your handbook. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? No, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. What are you talking about? There's no way! Yeah! I don't remember ever taking a picture like that, so it's gotta be a fake! I'm sure of it! But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong, I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievably and entirely horrifying reason. Because our memory has been wiped! Hangman's Gambit. Amnesia. Oh. It's amnesia! <laughs> Ain't that a bad a bitch. <laughs> um, M? E? A. Uh, hey. Amnesia. Now I understand. Now oh, I understand. Amnesiac from Town of Salem. Let's say that somehow we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. I hate you. He literally just took Hifumi's shtick. Unbelievable occult type story. Yeah, we all lost our memories. That's just crazy. Ain't it? It's only natural that they wouldn't believe in it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth. They have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept it. Um You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I mean I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. So the idea that we all lost our memory is totally stupid. Obviously. 
Okay, even if we don't want to believe it's the truth, we don't have a choice, otherwise we'll die in here. You got that wrong! No, that's wrong. I forgot to do that last time. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? Yes, it's you stripping and fucking everyone. No, it's nothing like that. What are you talking about, Toto? It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hoax Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean, I mean all, all Hina. Us. That's what the word all means. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! <sighs> to be honest, Is it any of those things, else Zero? On my mind right now. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the Headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The Headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. Actually, oh, well. we all said we could. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever. Or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane. How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, because it's all true what? I hate him I know it sounds absurd but if it's the truth there's nothing we can do about it indeed we only have one path in front of us then we really yep you all totally lost your memory at the same time this is all making my head hurt and this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss you stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie! You figured that part out too, huh? Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. <laughs> but how could someone just steal our memories? How? Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. The original motive. The motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else? So until we do that, well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So, 
the one who killed Mikuro. The true mastermind, that's what we need to expose. <sighs> Alright. Probably gonna need her profile. Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I know. When you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course! They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um, what does make me so sure? Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. His masterminds always lurk off in the background, right? So who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the that much I when you is the mastermind. Of course, they have to be. What makes you so short? Um, Tina, you should know what exactly. makes you so short. We just, just talked about up. it. There's no way that we were the there together, Tina. Probably a million miles away. No. You got that wrong. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. I'm sure I told you this already, but the killing game against 16 participants, all of them in high school students. They only per be able to take a single step in hopes to be academy since the killing big game began, are those 16 students. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. How'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! We all know that. Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! Toko, if you don't <sighs> shut your crack whore ass up. What? Why me? Cuz! It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being- You executed. saw Alter Ego though, bruh. Like, you oh, saw him. I get it. The only way he could've survived- Y'all got the memories of a goddamn goldfish. Aw, nuts! Ya got me! Wait! What are you trying to say? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The Mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. If Rather than wasting Kyoko time wasn't here, these people would have been dead forever ago. Solving this mystery. Yeah, mm -hmm. well... How much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? I got it! All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? Body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least seven days old. Clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago, so they can't possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if? When we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days. If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. That doesn't make any sense. Because... because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means... you know... Incorrect. We already know that she had no wounds on her. <laughs> she denied me <laughs> before I 
could even say anything. You're such a fucking pervert. I love her. I love her so much. Come on. I mean, you think I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me. That's a fair statement. Just sure we're gonna deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? Make your argument. Before we get into any of what I wasn't okay. What I was trying to do was this. Easy. There. You got that wrong! I hate the spinning ones. They're the worst. Yeah. Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. To be denied so completely... Actually, it's kind of refreshing. <gasps> Maybe it's because of all of Master's training! Yeah! <laughs> so we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Titties! Of course you would. But if also, gay- what um, her, okay. What? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, were you about to mention her size or whatever? No. Or something about the wounds? No, you're good. You skipped it already, so it's fine. We'll just keep going. Conversely. No. No. What about it? What about it? Just, just look at it for a second, and then move on. Um, clear collarbone. Those wounds are weird. Pink scratches along her. Round boobs. I don't know. Okay, you can move on. I, I don't know exactly what you're looking for. Sorry. What? Does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? What? You mean when I was executed? That was the night before last, dude. Koto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. It could not have been last if night, Mukuro at this point. already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. So who the mastermind. I got it. it was a zombie Mikuro. Was the true mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. But I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? 
Now there's no way Mukuru is the one who attacked me. Even if I didn't see their face, the fact that they were able to be fought off. If you compare with what we know about Mukuru to the attack, uh, masked attacker, the height is wrong. It should be obvious. No, it's something Monokuma told us in the last investigation. Not this one that we just did, the one before that. Um... You never saw their face, right? I need to check one thing. Well, I mean, the thing that I'm thinking of will come in, in a minute, but... That's fine. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! Oh, oh, okay, which button is it? Is it hold down Y? Yeah, it is. Okay. There's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. The oh? hand. And what is this other? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe I... the right foot? Here, actually need to check one thing. Uh, it was the right hand, right? That had the tattoo on it? I think so. That's the hips. They didn't have something Mukuru definitely had. Hips. The hips you don't lie, and I'm starting to feel right. You might just want to shoot that bullet game. Get rid of it. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusama. You're wrong. There's another part of the O. Is it the or the left hand? Maybe the or perhaps or I guess I'll fire this at the it was the Mikuru Kursaba thing. You never saw there, so you can't have any I'm telling you now, it was You got that wrong! Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly. A representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such tattoo. So there's no way the person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. But that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of you, but what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. Uh-oh, no snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Huh? Show me what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves her right me hand. Shadow of a doubt, it wasn't me. Before anyone could say anything. Kyoko is removing her gloves. She got them Freddy Krueger hands. Without thinking, what a guess. It was more than just a little burned skin. Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. My scars should suffice as proof. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? No, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. The 
<laughs> this is just awful. On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours. Uh, I'm still sorry. Did I say that what? out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your feelings. What? It just sounds it just sounds vain, which makes me think it's Junko even more. Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure. As long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? But I'm in that corner just yet. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? If she was, no. She would have been totally decomposed. Just like a brain. <laughs> oh, sick burn, Toko. She was being stored somewhere? But he just ignored it. To hide a body here. To just store it somewhere? There's only one I place. I wonder where that could be. You can't think of anywhere else the body could have been stored. Obviously in the pool. Yeah. I got <laughs> Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. Bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body, and it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. Tart. I got it! What makes me so sure the body was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. Oh, I don't know how you didn't notice that before. Holy yeah. God. How'd you notice that yeah, tiny little thing? Tiny Shut the fuck up. Stupid. Picky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect time. We are investigating a literal fucking this murder, guys. You should look at yep. anything. To be fair, uh, our nitpicky nature is the only reason most investigations go so well. Well, I mean, Kyoko's really the reason the most investigations go well, so well. Just like it in there. You're correct, but a lot of them wouldn't have gone well because people wouldn't have listened to her the same way. She, you know, would have let us die for some reason. Really, honestly, how would we have ever died during any investigation with Kyoko around? How could we have failed when she could have just said who it was? So when the who knows, man. moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers. And put the code on it afterwards. You made everything sound so amazingly like, consistent. But, but, but that's just a wild guess. Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. There is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Worked up? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Easy. 
talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the biolab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. An inconsistency in the biolab. Could you be talking about... Hi, Leon Kawada! Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Hmm, I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency of the biolab, could you be talking about... What about that one thing? What one thing? <laughs> what do you think? I'm talking about your family. What? <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. Why does Makoto's dad kind of look like the headmaster? Yeah, I'm staring like, at him. Like, adult male. Oh. So Makoto and Kirigiri are brother and sister, half brother and sister. I'm not okay with this. Yeah, that would not be good. That would not be good. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? Why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Stop talking about that! Calm down. I mean, based on the first video, I would have assumed the opposite. Yeah, I need to calm down. I can't let him get to me. He just say he's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bio lab. So I want to shut him up. I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. Spin around. The moment of truth. Are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? Bro, bro, bro! Are you sure about this? Bro, bro, bro! Are you sure about this? I'm not listening! Okay. Okay. First time I failed that. I'm not listening. What? It. What is? Okay, I'm actually getting annoyed with this. What? What do you want? Okay, is it on there? It's on there. Fire. The first time I didn't realize, the second time it definitely just re-rolled it. The inconsistency Kyoko's talking about is... The lights! <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? Like I said before, the biolab also acts as a morgue. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in. And there were only nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. I'm too stupid to understand. Nine lights does make sense because the number of lights that should be on is ten. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious. That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. Sayaka died first. Junko was second. Leon was third. J 
Chihiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taka was sixth. Then Hifumi was seventh. Celeste was eighth. Sakura was ninth. Mikuru was tenth. People in all? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. You're seeing a dead body just up and disappeared? I got it. The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body, since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? It may we didn't think to check that. That none of them disappeared. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's executions, there have apparently been ten deaths. But there were only nine bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The reason there are less bodies than murders... The explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? Why would it take... What would it take for that to make? Only nine murders have taken place. There weren't actually 10 murders, but 9. That's why there are 9 bodies. That's patently untrue. Counting Monokuma's executions, there have been de indeed been 10 murders. I think we can all agree on that. Actually, you're completely right, so... What? Actually, ten murders have been committed so far, but one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. Murdered Theoretically, Gabe, you were right, but that's not the answer they're looking for. <laughs> that's stupid! This is stupid! If that's the nah, case, you know. There could have been ten killings, but still only nine victims, right? Makoto's wrong, though! This is not what- Technically, you're right, I guess. Still, I mean, he's right could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. Okay, so she was Junko in the gym. That's Got it, why easy. The body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. So that would explain the peer, the wounds all over her body. It was the poles going through. Easy. Got it. Okay. Cool. No, no, no. That's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers. Thank you for the hint, Cass, earlier. When you mentioned the wounds, or at least the picture of the wounds, and I went, why yes. is that important? Ah, I got it. Nothing's gonna become obvious. Because Kyoko's totally delusional. I will say I'm disappointed in you. Or no. I don't think he does it sometimes to be facetious, but. Mikuri Kasaba's profile. Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Leon Kuwata, Chihiro Fujisaki, Mondo Owada, Kiyotaka Ishimaru, Kifumi Yamada, Celestia Lu, whatever, or maybe Sakura Ogami. No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. Is this 
someone else that Muku was it Sayaka Maizono Junko Enoshima No Shoot I died Oh Yes, I want to give it another Just shot. Just say no. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Let me die. I'm good with it. Yeah, this is the end of the Let's Play, guys. I give up. Mm. I don't have it in me to finish this. Yeah, you know. Do you want a hint? I'm guessing I take Junko and shoot it at the end. Who is this is that correct? Okay. My hint was just gonna be that none of the bullets you have work, but I'm okay. Yeah, I figured it out already. And it was one or two, I just guessed wrong. You got that wrong! I'm very disappointed in you, by the way, Gabe, because I, I literally mentioned while we were looking at the body, I was like, yeah, you remember things from, like, the beginning of the game? And you were like, yeah, and you didn't notice that the body was wearing Junko's shoes and also had Junko's fake red nails on? Well, first off, the fake red nails, I don't remember Junko's hands at all. Second off, I never, too, like, I do not remember I know, Junko's I was sad, I was like... So, Junko was in the game for such a more, short amount of time, we never interacted with her outside of the three... I mean, you could have. Like, three cutscenes. Yeah, we didn't, though. Yeah, we I didn't. never did. <laughs> but you could That's the issue, though. Yeah. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Impale. Well, remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered... And similarities match? Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be these same injuries. And it's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... <sighs> what does it all mean? It means Junko's there alive. have been ten victims, but nine. That's why, theoretically, you're correct. There have only been nine murders, but the answer they were looking for was the same person who was killed twice. Oh, I don't get it. I don't give a shit. These games, I always get to the right answer through a dumb method. Yeah, which, by the way, you totally guessed that it was Junko, but by the wrong fucking logic. I was like, this is annoying. You got the right answer, but you did the wrong math. <laughs> that is my entire life in high school, middle school, even elementary school, where teachers looked at me and just like, you're right, but why? And I go, I, I don't know. I hate you. I hate you. Yeah. Togo, how are you this stupid and still alive? I love you, Toko. And made it look like she was the one who died. So Mukuro is still alive. She's gotta be. Total silence. Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Mukuro alive? The one thing that the one that's still alive is Mukuro, but. Can we really believe that? 
Let's spin the chamber. Biolab secret, biolab lights, Monokuma. I mean, no. Then she's still alive? That's right. She made it look like Junko's body was her. So the mastermind's true identity is. What, what do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Hmm. Just sick. Um. We've already used her profile. Um. Makura was still alive. Can I really believe that? Have we used her fatal injury yet? No, we haven't. Then she's still alive? No. Wait. Hey Gabe, you remember that rule I told you about? Well, this is the one exception. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, it can't be that. Cassie told me- Okay. It's fine. I mean, it's logically the only answer, because that's... it's Kyoko literally confirmed that the body fit all the characteristics from the profile. You got that wrong. No, not wrong. Prank! No. The body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. I guess the only reason that this would be be allowed to be used twice is because it's two pages. Yeah. We use We're it using for information from points. each page. Yeah. We use yeah. it for different points both times. So. Right, Kyoko? Yeah. She was five foot six inches tall and weighed ninety seven pounds. Bitch was taller than me, and like 200 pounds, not 200, but like extremely what? thinner than me. My god. Everything in her profile she was a soldier. With that and then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. But... Did Junko wear gloves? Then... No. Who's actually still alive? How? I guess if you use like makeup on your hand to try to cover it, would that be possible? Someone's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person that could be. Where's the bitch? I mean, technically? Here's my answer. Also, now you know why there's so much alive. fucking cosplays it's the of her. Only oh, yeah. I was like, why the fuck? Yeah, everyone's is this always girl confused <laughs> because she dies immediately and everyone's like, what the fuck? And it's like well, I mean, Ooh. to be fair, Ooh. I even saw like a bunch of Leon for a while and I was like, Leon's been dead since like the yeah, very for some beginning. Reason, people like Leon, which couldn't be me. Like whatever. He was kind of a shit lord. He reminds me of my brother, to be honest. I think some people feel bad for him because they buy the whole he didn't want to murder Mizuno thing. I mean, okay. Up until that, like, if Mizuno had never done that, he probably would have ended up like most other people in this school, or he would have worked together with us. Yeah. He would have not lashed out like that, but it was the very beginning, everyone was freaked out, blah, 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 blah. I don't feel pity for him because he did that. Huh? I just don't like his character. I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. And that wasn't her. If Junko were still alive, the death we saw would have had to have been some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Now that you mention it, I don't, wait, I really don't understand what he's confused about. They don't understand how we watch Junko die. You're basically proving that they switched. Just go do it. 
do it. But we've already said that hey, it was you know, actually you gotta hurt. do it again. Also, a touch or wrist check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I did check up Zelene. I can say for sure she was dead. Also, some people pronounce her name as Junko, and it makes me literally want to kill myself. Sorry. I mean, it's it's very fitting because she's trash. It must be Rude. Wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement. <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot, but too bad. I guess your conclusion was a dud. <laughs> too bad. Too bad. The fact that anyone has been decided just yet. Oh? You haven't given up already. Have you, Makoto? No, huh? Of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good. But how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? It's a really simple Junko <sighs> absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? Checked her, she was dead, I'm sure of it. But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko's not the one that died? It wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely. Maybe she used some sort of trick. Spin the chamber again, to end up in the hangman's gambit. Um... I don't have any idea, to be honest. Your first letters are uh, replaced. I'll give you that. Replace. Okay, never mind. I guess. Sorry. Why am I? Even I figured here? it out. The moment the 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 moment the R's popped up, I got it. And Where are the L's? Them. Easy. Replaced. Now I understand. I. That's also the first time I saw green, which is why it made me made it stand out so much. Places with someone else. Switch places? That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I thought that's what we agreed upon already. I'm very confused. Uh, Thing about this switching places thing, but that had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? No. Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? No, we never met her. Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. Oh my god, you're all so dumb! The whole idea is they are. There has to be some way. I need to figure out how to explain it that they could have switched. I got it! The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What? From the beginning? Yes, from the moment we first met. If that's when they switched, Then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Uh, hold on. So you're saying the Junko we first met is actually Mukuro all along? Then we'd already met her? I had like a normal conversation with her. When we first met, Crazy. none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. Celeste's hair is very blue in that picture. Yeah. And we never would have known the difference. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait! 
but Mufalo had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. Yeah. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. But if she really did use foundation... That would make her a whore. Correct. Wait, what? <laughs> Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad Man, for you, Markuma. You can't deny it anymore. Wait, so this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back? I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. <laughs> As if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect her identity. When did I do that? So he still refuses to admit it, but he can try to deceive us all he wants. It doesn't matter, because I've already figured it out. Hey, Gabe, remember? He tried to hide Junko's identity, well, not just once, but twice. Well, I mean, this hmm? isn't that, but, um, you, well, keep going for now. The first time was during our latest investigation. What was the first time that he protected Junko's identity? Um... Where's the group photo? Did I pass it? Sliterate, nope. I got it. No? Okay. You have to do it in a specific order, but like you are, yeah. You are. <sighs> okay, what is it? Do you remember one time when he specifically interfered with part of our investigation? Yeah, it was the, uh, you mean the biolab thing, or do you mean even before that? After that, actually. After that? Um, go down. Ah, got it. I got it. Yeah, I remember. While I was in the AV room, watching the DVD of our interviews with the headmaster. What the heck? That's what failure is. You made sure I couldn't finish watching the video. And the reason you did that is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh, yeah. If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. And if Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. That that whole power outage thing was just a fluke! No, it wasn't a fluke. The Masterminds definitely orchestrated that power outage. And that's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The Masterminds trying to cover up one other piece of evidence. I'm going to reveal that, okay? The moment of truth. This 
I try to protect the identity? Of course. With the group photo. The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. Uh, 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 I noticed it just a little while ago. When we were all comparing the photos we got, in all the photos, there's a certain similarity, an unusual circumstance. What, what's so unusual about them? The unusual circumstance common to all these pictures is that Junko's face never shows up. Then you show Junko's face. I got it! Junko's face. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? So I guess the idea is that, like, whoever received these photos were actually the ones who originally took the photos, and that's why they're not present I in them? So. I think Like, that's just my guess. And that would make sense that she, of course, throughout it would try to hide her face. Or that, or maybe it was that anyway, who knows. That, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. With all that in mind... There's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Xanadu! I believe everything Makoto said is true. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. This killing game. She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. Xanadu times two! With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No! Oh, wait! Now hold on! Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything. Right now! Finally, the closing argument begin. By the way, I just would like to point out that this is the halfway point of this trial, so... Okay, are you sure it's not the halfway point of the game? <laughs> Positive about uh, that. Um... This one. I believe so. Because yeah. I think that's them taking her out. Uh, I think it's this that one. one, yeah. I thought the I knife thought one the... might be from that, but maybe it's from when they... This is when the mask was put on, which is what I thought it was. Because it looked like the mask was being put on something else. I thought it was just them holding the mask. But I guess. Yeah, I thought that was when they were... Yeah, because they had the all background. the stuff in front of them. So they took off the stuff, put it down here. Yep, the so... Is you. We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student. Who had taken hidden, place. lying hidden in the school somewhere. Mukuro Ikusaba. Watch Mukuro out for her. Ikusaba. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind, Junko and Oshima. Her body was kept in a bio lab which had been converted into a morgue until Junko decided to put her body to use. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, 
been proven to be one big thorn in her side. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. So she put on a mask and then attacked me. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one and the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Finally, by strapping a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder. And the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. So we've solved the murder. Mm -hmm. Now we just have to solve every other mystery. Yeah. 